Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BC, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, the fight behind me is uh, a very, very young Manny Pacquiao. I believe when he was at 130 fighting Oscar Lario. So that's what's on behind me for those of you who may be wondering. Now, wanted to talk about Jeff Horn because Jeff Horn, Terrence Crawford, that's a fight that, you know, it's been agreed upon by both teams. Corn recently agreed to terms with Crawford to make the fight happen on April 21st in Las Vegas. So uh, we're still wait awaiting the official announcement, that, ha but that hasn't stopped um, Jeff Horn's trainer, Glenn Rushton, from, you know, talking trash and, and, and making this, his, his feelings known about what he believes will happen when his fighter uh, steps in the ring with Terrence Crawford on the 21st of April. Uh, here's what he said in regards to that. He said, I quote, there's things that can be done, but you you put this one off and Crawford goes in a different direction. And then we have missed we have missed opportunity to achieve greatness. We never make it. They'll never they'll, uh, then we'll never know whether we would have beaten him. We want the big fights. If we're going to fight him, we might as well fight him while Jeff is in his prime. Rushton said he then goes on by saying, I quote. The only way you can get recognition is to go over there and fight the guy the most that most people regard as the best fighter in the world and stop him. If we do that. I'm hoping they'll sit up and actually finally acknowledge that Jeff Horn is a great boxer. End quote. Now, my thing with Jeff Horn is this. I, I don't think he beat Manny Pacquiao. I made that pretty clear um, my, my post-fight video and, and videos that followed that fight. But it was clear the, the fact that Jeff Horn was competing at such a high level with Manny Pacquiao uh, that he was able to make it a close fight. Um, I think that, that that legitimized him as a top 10 welterweight because there's welterweights that are highly promoted by PBC um, and other promotional offense in boxing that many Pacquiao would have taken to school. And, they, and and a lot of those guys ducked him. So for Jeff Horn to fight, have as much success against Manny as he did, um, I think I think he legitimized himself on the night and people people don't want to give him his credit. But as for Crawford, like 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 I've been I've been telling you guys, like I'm very, I'm very excited about this fight because if you go through Terrence Crawford's whole run at 140, he had he had roughly about six fights at 140. You know, he fought Thomas DeLorme, Derry Jean, Hank Lundy, uh, Victor Postal, Felix Diaz, and John Molina. Most of those guys, I would say about four of the four of those six opponents were overmatched fighters, and three of those opponents were undersized guys um, that he just was so much bigger than that he could just overpower. So the reason I'm the reason this fight is interesting to me is because this would represent the, probably for the first time in Terrence Crawford's career, except with the exception of maybe the, the, the Dorme fight, um, where he's gonna be fighting a guy that he can't just flat out like overpower. Um, because Jeff Horn, roughly, he rehydrates up into the high 150s on fight night, you know, somewhere around 160. Uh, he can rehydrate that high, and uh, with the him have with him struggling to make weight. Um, you're going to be looking at him cutting, making sharper weight cuts. You know, he'll probably rehydrate even more when he fights Terrence Crawford, which could give him a, 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 a somewhat of a, a better advantage, um, a, a somewhat of a, you know, just an advantage over Crawford. And it's how Crawford deals with that. Cause it's not the fact, it's not just the fact that Horn is just this guy that rehydrates. No, no. He uses that weight advantage to, to his advantage. You know, he's, he's going to be pushing up on Crawford, trying to cut the distance, bullying him, mugging him, doing whatever it takes to win. He might, it, might, it, might, it might even be a little – it might be, it'll probably be very dirty. But with that being said, man, uh, Terrence Crawford, we're, we're going we're gonna to finally get to find out if Terrence Crawford um, – like I think he's the goods. I think he's a talented fighter. I think he's an A-level talent. But in terms of the mentality, the, the character behind the talent, because a lot of times guys can have talent – but it's the character behind the talent that ultimately makes guys great. And we're going to find out about the character, truly find out about the character of Terrence Crawford that's behind the talent. Um, is he really a dog or is he just a front runner? Is he a bully, a weight bully? That's what we want to know, and that's what we're going to find out whenever they fight. Now, let's talk about Jeff Horn for a second. If Jeff Horn is able to go in there and beat Terrence Crawford, I mean, even though I don't think he beat many Pacquiao – fact of the matter is he's still got that decision. So if he, if he goes in there and he somehow finally beats – if he beats Terrence Crawford, you're looking at a win against Manny Pacquiao and you're looking at Terrence Crawford. And that that's the type, that's the type of stuff that you can put on the power of list. And he's coming here to America to, to fight Terrence Crawford, a guy that's going to have all the odds stacked in his favor. You know, the top rank has made the fight happen. So it's clear to see that, you know, top, the, the top rank matchmakers who are by far the best in boxing think that – um 
th- th- these guys are ready to fight each other, fight each other. I'm, I'm sure that they think that Terrence Crawford is going to beat Jeff Horn if they're making the fight happen. Um, but you got you, you still got to get you, you still got to take Jeff Horn very seriously if if you're someone who's rooting for Crawford or if you're someone who's just looking at this fight because Jeff Horn was very very competitive with the guy that in Manny Pacquiao that Bob Arum is not confident in putting in the ring uh, putting Crawford in the ring. You know, um, it's been documented that that uh, Aram and his matchmakers are not confident with putting Crawford against Pacquiao. And Horn fought that guy, and you know he 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 held his own and, and legitimized himself on the night. So with that being said, man, like it's gonna be a good fight, man. It's 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 gonna be a better fight than people think. Um, I'm picking Crawford to win. I th- I think he's the more skilled fighter. I think he's the good. I th- I think he's a level fighter. Um, I've been high on Crawford for quite a long time. Maybe the, the, over the last four or five years, I've been very high on Crawford. I thought I always thought he would get to this level to where he's challenging for the number one spot in boxing, and I don't quite have him number one, but I think he's damn close. So um, a sensational performance against Jeff Horn to me would would you know it it, it, it would it would do some, it would do something for me because I look at this fight as as a as a good first fight for him, a good first opponent. I mean. Jeff Horn is a tough customer, and um, you know he's someone that like even his boxing skills get a bit underrated because, albeit yeah he's from Australia and 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 I know their amateur system isn't quite as deep as the American amateur system. He still did represent Australia in the Olympics. This guy is an Olympian. This guy, I believe he's undefeated. I'm, I might be wrong about that though, but I'm pretty sure he's undefeated. So he's an undefeated. Um, Olympian who was a champion, you know, you gotta take this guy seriously. You 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 do. And I think the fact that people are writing him off, I think is very disrespectful because he just got underrated boxing skills. He's got a good jab. He's got solid movement. And ultimately he has he fights like a dog. Um and Terrence Crawford for, you know, uh, you know, unfortunately, um most of you guys don't don't can't look at me and, and then this is speaking as somebody who's Terrence Crawford is one of my favorite fighters. And I and I and you guys know this if you watch my video where I name my top ten current fighters in boxing, which I just put out. Um, Terence Crawford is uh, has great potential to be the best fighter in boxing one day, and that day could be coming very soon. But he's been bullying a lot of fighters. He's been, he, he's been with top rank. They've been putting him in very safe fights. John Molina was a safe fight. Hank Lundy was a safe fight. Gamboa was a safe fight. And, and these are guys that he could overpower. These are guys that he had a significant weight advantage against. But now that's not going to be the case um, against Jeff Horn. And I'm expecting a stronger Terrence Crawford. Now he's a 147. So uh, his trainers are saying, look, man, like, like if Terrence Crawford stops or if Jeff Horn stops Terrence Crawford, I don't want to hear no excuses. And I think that's how it should be, man, because if he, if he does go in there and stop Terrence Crawford on the road, you know, it's it's going to be um, – it's going to be well-deserved. And, you know, he fought Gary Corcoran, you know, a guy that, you know, is a lower-level mandatory type of opponent. And uh, he struggled a little bit in that fight, didn't look his best. Um, so you would be led to believe that he's not going to beat Terrence Carver based off that. But that we've, we've seen this many times in boxing. Fighters will often fight to the level of their opponent. So he fought really well in the Manny Pacquiao fight, and he didn't fight as well in the Corcoran fight. So who's to say that that level doesn't go back up again when he fights Crawford? So. That's what it is. But Terrence Crawford, his trainer, Glenn Rushton, uh, he's pretty much just saying, hey, when, when we stop Terrence Crawford, give us our credit. Let me know what you guys think about that. Do you guys give Jeff Horn any chance of beating Terrence Crawford? Do you think anything I'm saying is preposterous or ridiculous? You know, ultimately, I think Terrence Crawford will. Um, I don't know if he's going to – I don't know. I don't think he's going to stop Jeff Horn, but I think he's an outbox. I don't think he's a unanimous decision victory. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. And like I said, every video, you know, you can love me or you can hate me but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.